you recommend turning off automatic payments or set up auto payments at a specific time of the month? For myself, for my for my small bills, for my small like subscription bills, I just keep the auto pay going. For bigger bills, sometimes sometimes I don't. It, it's like a preference. Um, just know that whether you're doing automatic payments or not automatic payments, you still have to manually extract, take money out of the line of credit, okay, into your checking account, and then checking account pays the bills. What I will say is when you're making a chunk to wipe out a debt, Completely like a car, student loan, mortgage. Just make sure that you do cut off the the auto pay. Especially, say for example, you have a car payment that's due on the 15th. Okay. And let's say we're in our chunk month. Let's say your chunk towards that car is not going to pay off the car, okay? Let's say you owe 15000 on the car. We're in January, and you make a $5,000 chunk towards the car. So it brings the balance down to ten k. Let's say you made that chunk before the due date on the car, okay? Make sure that you cut off auto pay for that month. Because if you don't, you would have you would have made the chunk on the five thousand, and then you would have seen another couple hundred dollars come out of your account to go right to the car dealer, and you didn't want that because we strategically designed the chunk to not only go towards principal but to also satisfy the monthly payment. So in some cases, it's like better to just not have auto pay but if you're not going to do auto pay make sure you got a board okay make sure you got sticky notes a calendar put it in the calendar all the due dates okay everything make sure it's all in there okay so that you don't confuse yourself the less you confuse yourself with this concept the better the the as simple as we can make it make it simple make it real simple for yourself 